Okay, I'm just going to show you how to set up Audacity so that it can record from the audio within the computer. It's fairly straightforward. So basically, inside in Audacity, this is the latest version as of um, 2023, January. You click on <coughs> audio and then you click on host and you choose, just go back in there again, click on audio, setup, and choose Windows Wasapi. Now the default is MME. And then the next stage is to go into recording device and you choose your particular recording device. So I have a headset plugged in it's a Plantronics, and you choose the loopback option. And that's basically it. Now I have the other internal microphone uh, switched off, so that won't work. And um, that is basically it. So just to show you how it works then, I'll just simply press record. Ten years ago, on a Tuesday morning, I conducted a parachute jump at Fort Bragg, North Carolina. It was a routine training jump, like many more I'd done since I became a paratrooper 27 years before. We went down to the airfield early because this is the Army and you always go early. So that you is basically it. Now, and then you go to put on your let me just go in and pause that. You, and you put on the T-10 parachute. And you're very careful how you put the straps, particularly the leg straps, because they... So you have your audio and the next stage is to export it. So you click on File, Export, MP3. That's the choice that I make. And then you choose your options for export. So in that, ans in that aspect, I am going to choose um, Insane Quality. Just choose the location and just press save. Change it obviously to a name that's uh, suited. And um, that is basically it. Let's go back in and see if that works there. So if I go to Untitled. There we are, it is working. There's just a delay in the beginning because of the delay in me pressing the record and pressing the play on the actual website. So that is it, a very useful tool if you want to record, convert films into audio files, for instance, very useful tool there. Then you can edit it as well. And to edit it, if you go back into the audio recording to split up the actual recording, I think it's Control D, I think it is. No, it's not. There is another way to split up the actual recording. I don't have the particular shortcut key to hand. Let me see the tracks. Um, effect. Uh, edit. Is it labels? Control B, let's see if that works. Control B. Ah, there we are, yeah. That's it, Control V. Chapter 2. So when you export, if I press File, Export, you will choose Export Multiple, and it will export all of the various sections into different MP3 files. 
and then from there um, you can then basically you have your mp3 album shall we say and that is basically it so thank you for watching